I did the smile because it represents happiness, and I did it in orange because on my colorful rainbow, orange is my happy color. I did the cloud around the head that represents anxiety because I find that when I get anxiety, I feel it more in my head, like I get headaches and it's just unbearable. <laughs> that just re represents like busyness, like, because when you have anxiety, you're constantly always thinking and you can't hear anything, you can't hear yourself think because it's so loud. I drew the light blue on the throat because light blue is the throat chakra color. Um, tightness when you're nervous. Um, the fireworks I did because they symbolize my like future and excitement for everything. Why the choice in colors? My favorite colors. Heart symbolizes love and friendship. Makes me feel comfortable, I guess. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Belonging, yeah. I drew the butterflies and I drew them uh, to symbolize like nervous or like overly excited because whenever I feel those emotions um, I get butterflies in the pit of my stomach and I did it in the colors of green and orange because they're more bright and out there. I did red hands, and the red symbolizes anger. Choose the hands. Because uh, anger can be shown a lot through your hands, and like hitting things, and yeah. So when I get angry, my hands get all clammy, and yeah. I also did the heart, like the sunrise around the heart, because some people, like when I'm happy, I always feel it in my heart, mm -hmm. and like my heart just races and stuff, and I'm really happy. And, don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. It's a Bob Marley quote in it. It just seems to have such a good feel to saying it, I guess. There's a lot of different songs, like genres of music that I enjoy listening to when I'm like happy or sad. They change my moods. Shaky knees. I think it's good in dark blue because fear is kind of dark. It's not a good thing, so. And I drew it vibrating because they're supposed to be shaking. I drew the sun. It could mean happy. I drew the music notes because music you can it's like a stress reliever. You can take out your anger by listening to music. I know if I'm feeling some kind of emotion, I like to listen to music. The good thing about music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. I did that one because Cassie drew music notes and well, music goes with the music notes. And I, and music means a lot to me. I drew the tears, um, for sadness, but it also works if you're like really happy. It depends on what kind of person you are, I guess. I drew the remote because I guess you never really know what your emotions are. So you have all different types of room, like different types of emotions, just like a remote has different types of buttons. I guess it shows a lot of like different things on a person's body where they could get stressed or where they feel happy or warm inside. I like the project because it makes you think about resiliency and how belonging it works. And I quite enjoyed this project because everybody got to do their own like they had their own idea of what they thought about like resiliency and belonging and the feelings and emotions what they, they, they get from different things in different places in their body. 
I had a lot of fun doing it. I think I thought it was a neat idea and like it puts a different pers perspective on things and like you can see how other people see things. I liked it because it's fun to add to a picture that other people drew on and it was just fun to see like what other people think about. Yeah, because everyone feels like their like their energy in different spots than other people. So it's really cool to see like where they see it mm -hmm. and how they feel it. Definitely a lot different from my own. I thought it was good because since we're all doing the um, the workshop on like the same thing, we all you know felt like we belonged, that we could communicate well and tell stories together.